Welcome everyone to my top 10 best Hitman weapons. Starting off with number 10, we have the DAC X2 Covert. It's basically a silenced Uzi. What makes this weapon great in particular is not only is it the best SMG in the game, but you can pick it up from the pistol category, meaning you don't have to bring it in a briefcase. You can just take it from your pistol category, you can hide it on yourself. You have 100 bullets with this thing, and you pull the trigger once, you're gonna fire multiple bullets, meaning you don't have to be that accurate. You just aim in the direction of what you're aiming at and you're bound to hit it. It's particularly great for maps like Miami when you want to shoot Sierra Knox in the car. It is great also for Haven Island when you're shooting Vetrova in the leg. It is great for uh, Berlin. Actually, it's my personal uh, favorite weapon for Berlin. I take it from the first guy that I kill and I use it to uh, put down Agent Swan. You, you can see me do that on screen right now. Uh, it's a wildly underrated weapon, but it's very useful. Also, if you have it, you can shoot through doors, you can shoot through locks, so you don't need a lockpick on you. It is uh, wildly underrated in my opinion, it is a very good unlock, and if you want to get your hands on it, all you have to do is achieve uh, level 15 mastery on Mumbai. Number 9 is the sniper rifle. Any silent sniper rifle for the most part will do the job. It is great for completing the sniper assassin challenges, as well as any long range shooting like the church bell in Sapienza or the haystack in Colorado, etc. Also, you can pry doors open by shooting the lock, allowing you access to restricted areas. However, it does have some negatives. You will need a briefcase to carry it around in public, as well as sometimes agency pickup, depending on your startup. On top of that, it's very difficult to have a silent assassin sniper assassin unless you're playing Chong Ying, or you're willing to just shoot your targets from three feet away because the game uh, does not allow for the most part to have a sniper assassin silent assassin the classic way from long range, the bodies will always get discovered. And because of that, I can't put it any hard at number 9. It just doesn't fit the, the meta of Hitman 3 as it stands right now. That being said, if you want the absolute best sniper rifle in the game, head to Marrakesh and complete the Chavoyo Calibration Escalation to unlock the secret 300 Ghost. If you don't have access to Hitman 1 maps, however, go ahead and complete Chongying Mastery Level 20 to unlock the Hakko Levatan Sniper Rifle Covert or complete 60 featured contracts on the ICA facility and every single Hitman 3 map to unlock the same sniper rifle but with a ducky version. Number 8 is the fiber wire. Not only is it completely silent when you take the kill, but also it puts you immediately in a drag animation, allowing you to hide the victim away as fast as possible. In my personal opinion, it's the best lethal melee in the game. The reason it's only number 8 and not any further down the list is because the coin lockpick combination loadout is just far too prevalent, it is the optimal way to play, and until Ayu finally gives in to the coin and gives us the coin to, as a default loadout like it should have been from the beginning, I'm afraid the fiber wire is always going to be just out of reach. Now uh, the fiber wire is available from the very beginning, you don't have to unlock it, however if you do want to unlock the fiber wire classic you can do so by completing 17 silent assassin challenges on any hitman maps. Number 7 is the tranquilizer. It is an exceptional weapon when you need to get rid of somebody who's in your way but you have nowhere to hide the bodies. So let's say you need to get through a certain area and there's guards in your way. You can't hide them, you can't distract them. You can just shoot them with this tranquilizer, they're gonna go down. And if the bodies get found, you're gonna be able to still keep your silent assassin. Not only that, but you can use it to take down NPCs, take their disguise, and then if the body gets found, even though they're already missing the disguise, you're still gonna keep your silent assassin. It is an exceptional tool for certain situations, there's no denying it. However, its usefulness is somewhat limited as you will only need it so often, which is ultimately why it's only number 7 and not any further down the list. It, if you want to unlock yourself a tranquilizer, all you have to do is either complete 3 escalations for any Hitman 2 maps or go to Mendoza and achieve a mastery level 5. Number 6 is the Krugemeyer 2-2. For some people, this is the best pistol in the game, although for me personally, I think it is somewhat situational. The Krugemeyer has um, subsonic rounds, making it extremely silent. It is the best pistol currently for uh, any type of bullet distractions or for a close quarters um, destroying of camera or any type of pistol shenanigans. Because it is so silent, it will do you great. However, uh, its accuracy is uh, not the best. It does have 30 bullets in total, but it takes 5 shots to the chest, so you better hit that headshot, because otherwise you're pretty much screwed. And uh, overall, it's not optional for every single map. For certain close quarter maps where you're going to be shooting cameras up close, where you're going to be distracting with bullets up close, it is an exceptional pistol, 
However, it's not a pistol you're going to be able to play with uh, on every single map for the most part due to that uh, just horrific uh, accuracy that it has. However, if you uh, do fancy it and you do want to unlock it, you should head first to Bangkok if you want to get the gold version. All you have to do is complete it to Master Level 20. Or you can head to Mendoza to unlock the Silver version by completing it to Mastery Level 10. And if you want the Dark version, you need to complete one of these three arcade contracts that you see on screen currently. At number 5, we have the Suppressed Bowler Pistol, meaning the Silver Bowler, the Silver Bowler MK2, the Gold Bowler, the Short Bowler, and more recently, the Floral Bowler. My god, there are a lot of you. The Bowler is not only AG-47's most iconic pistol, it's also the best pistol in the game. It's a two-shot kill to the chest, 35 bullets in total. There's a special button that you can press that it's going to allow you to have perfect accuracy when you're standing still, allowing you to shoot targets from very, very far distances, kind of like with a sniper rifle. It is an exceptional pistol. It is very reliable. Uh, you can take it on every single map and it will do right by you. It's an absolute must unlock for every single Hitman player. There's no ifs or buts about it. If you're a fan of the Silver Bowler in particular, you can get your hands on it by simply going all the way to Mastery Level 11 in Paris, or you can get the MK2 version in Mumbai by going all the way to Level 2. You can get the Short Bowler in Dartmoor by going all the way to Level 5, and then you can get the Gold Bowler uh, by simply completing Carpathian Mountains a single time. Also, for the Floral Bowler, you can just get it from the Dartmoor Garden Show. Number 4 is the Seeker 1. One of the absolute strongest weapons in the game, bar none. It shoots out the medic darts, and anybody hit by those darts will immediately become sick and look for the closest toilet or the closest garbage can to throw up. It does have a bit of a skill cap when it comes to being able to hit those darts because the range in which the weapon is effective is definitely a, a lot harder once they get farther out from you. You do have to get skilled with it, it will take practice, this isn't a weapon that a complete beginner can take and be effective with. So it does have a bit of a skill gap, however once you get used to it, you can get assassination drowning kills left and right, like it becomes extremely easy, you can cheese pretty much all the targets, it is uh, extremely effective and uh, it's one of the weapons that is an absolute must unlock, like just you cannot play Hitman without this weapon, you just can't, straight up, it is far too good. And if you want to get your hands on this bad boy, all you gotta do is head to Haven Island and complete it until mastery level 10. Number 3 is the Lethal Syringe, a classic Hitman weapon from way back. It's one of the absolute best weapons in the game. All you need is a second, just one second for the guards to be distracted, for NPCs to be distracted. It's a quick in and out, you just hit your uh, selected target and you get out of there. No need to hide bodies, no need to do anything. It is completely safe when you're being searched by guards, so it's perfect for maps like Paris, for example. It's for perfect also for maps where you can't hide bodies, like uh, Santa Fortuna when you're dealing with uh, Delgado. It's, a, it's an exceptional tool there. It's an exceptional tool in many ways, especially when you're dealing with elusive targets, and sometimes you just can't be bothered to hide bodies. It uh, truly is one of the absolute uh, best unlocks you can have, and luckily for you, it's not hard to get. Uh, if you want to get the modern Lethal Syringe, all you have to do is achieve level 2 in Sapienza. If you want to get the antique Lethal Syringe, you need to get to level 12 in Bangkok. If you want to get the Lethal Syringe MK2, you need a level 5 in the Iowa's Gale. And if you want to get the Lethal Syringe MK3, you need to achieve a level 15 in Berlin. Number 2, please like and subscribe, is the combination of the remote automatic gas device and the briefcase. Basically, you just uh, bring your remote automatic gas device inside of a briefcase, you take it out and you put it back in. That's what she said. <laughs> Once you've done that, all you have to do is get close to your target. You're going to have a detonator now that's going to appear in your inventory. Use that detonator and green smoke is going to emit from the back of your briefcase, basically farting onto your target and making them sick. For a lot of people, at the beginning it seemed too good to be true, but it's been years later, it's still in the game, and it's clear that it's not going anywhere. It's an absolutely phenomenal combination. It is a uh, tool that basically allows you to take down anybody. Sometimes you can do it shoot only, sometimes you're gonna need a disguise. But especially when it comes down to elusive targets, this is pretty much the best weapon you can have for them. It is, uh, you can't miss it, unlike the Seeker, it's not illegal to hold. It's going to give you pretty much a free drowning kill every single time. 
and sometimes even if they're not headed to the bathroom they will be isolated uh, they're gonna basically get away from their normal route and you're gonna be able to either stick them with little syringe or do something else so overall it's an exceptional weapon i can't rave enough about it and if you want to get your hands on it you, you're gonna have to get a briefcase first but you can get many briefcases in my personal opinion the best one you can get right now is the ica briefcase mk3 it's a level 7 in dubai in my opinion right now it's the easiest one to unlock so that's probably the one you should have also it looks great and as far as the remote automatic gas device is concerned you're gonna have to head to haven island and achieve a mastery level 5. next up we're off to the honorable mentions starting up with the little poison vial which is unlocked in level 10 in berlin as well as the little pills which are unlocked when you complete five south assassin suit only challenges uh, the fact of the matter is these are incredible unlocks they're phenomenal they're absolutely a must unlock just like every single other thing on this list uh, however they're a little bit more niche they're not as useful on every single map especially not suit only uh, they can be very good in Bangkok for Ken Morgan or in Mumbai for the Maelstrom however outside of that I really struggle to find too many maps where they're gonna be ex the optimal way to, to go because they do take quite a bit of time to not only be put in the drink or the food of the target but also for them to actually consume it so uh, a great unlock is something that's definitely you need it because on certain use of targets or certain uh, maps it's going to be very useful and it will be optimal however it's a little bit more niche overall next we're off to the ICA remote micro taser which is unlocked in level 2 in Berlin this is great any puddle of water you just put it in there and as soon as your target gets anywhere near that water you just press the button and they get electrocuted also for oil concrete you can just put it in the mail of Nolan Cassidy he picks it up you press the button and there you go Santa assassin suit only just like that it's a phenomenal unlock it's only level two there's no absolutely no excuse not to have this thing unlocked uh it's far too good and it's far too easy to get so it has to be on this list next is the emetic gas grenade unlocked in uh, level 17 in ambrose island as well as the emetic grenade which is unlocked when you complete 12 escalations on any hitman 2 maps uh the reason they're great is because you just again you throw them like any grenade and uh any targets or any uh, guards whatever that are close to the area are going to become immediately sick which means that if you're ever in need to just get rid of people you don't have time to hide bodies you don't have time to do any of that you just throw it they get sick they get out of the way their uh, status as being able to spot you is now gone so you can just run right through and get through that area it's a pretty good unlock in my opinion it is optimal in certain situations so uh, you should have it if you want to be as good as you can possibly be when it comes to making a route and last but not least is the ic titanium crowbar in my opinion it's the best non-lethal melee in the game you can throw it uh, you can hit people with it obviously but also you get to unlock doors it's kind of like a lock pick that you can also use as a melee so if you ever find yourself in a position where it's like you don't necessarily need a quiet lock pick this uh, this will do you great it uh, can be used on pretty much any map that you uh, need it on and with that being said, that's the honorable mentions. Number one is the Molotov cocktail. By a landslide, it wasn't even close when I was deciding this. The thing this weapon is capable of doing is completely unique. No other weapon can get kills, sound assassin kills, the way this thing can. From the range that it can, from the, just the, the ways it can go through walls, it can go through ceilings. It can also be launched uh, with certain explosives. It's insane. I mean, genuinely, it is straight up insane i want to give a huge shout out to volvo motors for actually showing a lot of these things it helped me master the weapons a lot quicker by uh, seeing some of the things he can do so yeah it's an incredible weapon i mean once you master this thing you can basically just run right through some maps like it's nothing it is crazy good and again i do have to say yes it is illegal to hold Yes, you can screw up and lose your sound assassin if you throw it incorrectly and you basically kill your target with the explosive. So yes, there is some uh, skill. That there's no denying that it, it takes skill to play with this weapon. It, this is not a, something that a beginner can just take and just run rampant with. It, you definitely have to learn how to deal with it. However, once you do, you become pretty much unstoppable. You, The things you can do with this weapon, I genuinely can't even tell you, like, we haven't even found its limits yet. We don't know fully what you can even do with this thing. It's capable of uh, insane kills and the potential is it's out of this world. And if you want to get your hands on it, all you have to do is achieve a mastery level 20 on Ambrose Island. That being said, 
that's my top 10 list what do you think please if you enjoyed do drop a like because you know i did take a very long time making this video i would very much appreciate that subscribe for more content and most importantly thank you very much for watching